Hi, I'm Twitter. And hi, I'm Google. Google, can we be friends again? You mean you need me? I hate to admit it, but yeah. Well, in this episode of Here's Why with Mark and Eric, I'm going to be asking Mark why even Twitter needs SEO. So, Mark, Twitter and Google have a rocky past? You could say that. Uh, actually, they used to be friends. Uh, well, and so far as Google had a contract with Twitter that gave Google access to what was called the Twitter Firehose. Google could see every bit of data coming through Twitter, and they used that to do a pretty incredible real-time search, where if something was trending or there was a breaking news item, they would show tweets scrolling right by in real time right within the search results. In June of 2011, uh, they broke that agreement, and it hasn't been such a good connection ever since. So what's changed that, you know, this is being reconsidered now? Well, recently, Trevor O'Brien, who is the director of product management for Twitter, uh, revealed in a speech that he gave that Twitter has, uh, for a while now, for a number of months, set up a number, actually 50,000 different landing pages based on trending tweets. Some of them rotate, some of them are, are constant. And these are designed to show up in Google search. They're particularly optimized for search, so that when people search for something they've heard, they see a hashtag on the television screen, or they just heard something trending, they search for it now. These landing pages are doing very well. They're coming up high in the rankings. So this means that people who wouldn't have seen these tweets otherwise are beginning to see them. Well, that sounds really cool. Can you show us an example? Well, yeah, just today, for example, uh, Uber, the, the breakout uh, transportation company, was trending on Twitter because they were in the news. So people that go search Uber on Google would see, uh, as you can see here, in the number two result says, hashtag Uber on Twitter. You click through to that and you see this landing page. The landing page, notice, uh, has right up to the minute tweets, and if you stayed on that, they would keep updating right in front of you. But also, I want you to notice uh, there in the corner, the upper corner, that very prominent sign-up form. We're going to come back to that in just a moment. So why is Twitter doing this? Well, Twitter has a problem. Twitter is not getting new users at the extent that it needs them. It's not growing fast enough, especially now that it's a publicly traded company. So uh, they had to do something. Reach out. And what would you or I do if we're running a business? Well, one of the things that we would do if we wanted to grow and expand in this digital age, we would do SEO. We would optimize our site and get found on Google. And that's what Google, Twitter excuse me, has done here. Uh, and so they are bringing in people. Now, the genius of this from Twitter's standpoint is you don't have to have a Twitter account to see these landing pages. That means that anyone, people who've never been exposed to Twitter before, can click on these results, see what Twitter's like, see, oh, I might like that, and there's that, uh, that sign-up form. They can sign up for Twitter right there. Now, the Twitter has told us that since they implemented these, their number of logged out views, that means views on Twitter by people who are not logged into a Twitter account, have increased tenfold. They haven't told us how many of those people have converted to Twitter accounts, but that's still a lot of great traffic and a lot of new eyeballs on Twitter. Well, that's great for them, and it's really interesting that Twitter is doing this. But is there any takeaways for the rest of us? Well, I think one of the main takeaways is do what Twitter is doing. Decide what the main things that you know people are searching for that you want to have them come to your site to see. And create dedicated landing pages, especially for those queries, that are optimized to get ranked well in search for those. When people come there, they're seeing exactly what they were looking for. First of all, that makes them happy and they don't bounce right back to Google, which is a bad thing. But second, they get exposed to your content, they get exposed to your brand, your site, and the, the final takeaway from that, of course, like Twitter, have a great call to action. Have some place where if people like what they see, they can do something to get more of it. So that's great information, Mark. Uh, and we did reference one of Mark's article during this uh, episode. You can see that link here below. And thanks for watching this episode of Here's Why with Mark and Eric.